Hello, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Draklon Nixon. Uh, today we are going to learn about few of the important enhancement that uh, uh, has updated in the table extraction feature in UiPath. Okay, so as we all know, table extraction is an important feature that is introduced with the release of modern design in UiPath Studio. Right, and what is table extraction? Uh, okay, so for those who are not aware, like what is this table extraction? I will give a brief about what is table extraction. Okay, so table extraction part of the modern experience in uh, Studio enables you to use the UI automation activities pack to automatically extract structured data from applications and save it as a data table object that can be further used in your automation process. So, um, we know like data table is one key uh, data type in, uh, uh, in our UiPath automation, right? Like if we extract some data or if you read an Excel file, we'll be, we'll be getting the data like a data table and we can easily work with that data type. That is an important um, use of a data table data type, right? And here the important use of table extraction is so just consider you are logging into one um, application like any uh, social media or if you are logging to some um, uh, website like flipkart or amazon and you are trying to search for some product okay maybe iphone or some mobile device you are going to search and you need to extract the url of that particular uh, search items and you need to get the price of that items and you need to get the name of that items and you need to get who is the dealer like that uh, details you need to extract right so this data can be um, uh, uh, updated in different pages right in that application it can be there in different pages so you need to navigate to different pages and you need to extract all the data right so this table extraction will help you to navigate to multiple pages and it will automatically get to you all these details in a structured table format okay so that is a benefit of a table extraction i will show you that with a demo so this process can be done by using uh, the table extraction uh, recorder in studio which can be accessed from the ribbon uh, if the ui automation uh, version 21.4 or uh, above pack is installed in your current project or you have installed the modern experience okay so with modern experience you can use this uh, table session feature i already uh, did one video uh, regarding this table session so i will do one thing i will put the link of that video in the description okay so you can go to that and get a clear understanding about what is table session and in which of scenarios you can use this table session okay so let us understand what are the enhancement that has happened to this uh, table session right so several new properties have been added to extract uh, table data activity as well as wizard that guide you through the extraction process okay if you are using the modern experience you can also use this new feature from the new table extraction recorder okay so new menu at the selection stage for extracting text bar url on web uh, scrapping scenario so just consider you need to extract some uh, structured data right so if you are clicking on one particular data which you want to extract it will ask you like whether you need to copy uh, the url or the exact text that you need to copy okay then uh, it will help you to get a preview as well preview option at the element level that is available and the new pagination link toggle will uh, with a clear message okay so that is uh, one new uh, enhancement and new on bar of highlighting option of confirmed series of uh, elements Okay, so all these are the new table extraction enhancements. So we'll do one thing. Uh, I have already opened uh, Amazon. Okay, so I'm just searching for okay iPhone 13. Okay, so if you search for this uh, iPhone 13, you'll be getting a lot of search, right? So these are the results. So if you want to extract this uh, name, then uh, the price. As well as if you want to get the link the uh, link of this particular uh, item all these things that you can extract using table session so what i'm going to do is let me go to studio okay at the bottom of the descent panel uh descent ribbon you will be able to find the table session right so just click on that okay so here you can see it has opened the panel for table session then what you need to do you need to click on add new button okay then you need to inspect on the 
uh, element that you want to extract. Okay, so here I am going to extract the data of this uh, particular thing that is uh, Apple iPhone 13 12, uh, 128 GB green. Okay, and this is on hyperlink also, right? If you click on this, it will navigate to that particular item. So just let me click on this. Okay, so if you click on it, it is asking you like whether you need to extract the test, you just need to extract this test, or you need to extract the UR. Okay, so I'm just going with the test. Okay, so first the test is copied, then I'm going to click on confirm. Okay, so this has copied, add a new column. Now I need to extract the URL as well, right? Then uh, uh, test is already extracted, so that is uh, new uh, column zero. Let me extract the URL as well, okay? So the URL is also extracted. Now, uh, what else I need to extract? Okay, add column. I'm going to extract the price also. Okay, I, I'm going to extract the test. Okay, confirm. So by clicking on this, you can just delete this item and uh, click on confirm. And if you want to preview the data, what you can do? Click on the preview button. Okay, so you can see it has extracted. Uh, um, uh, Apple iPhone 13, uh, 128 GB green, and star list also. Actually, we didn't uh, use it on this particular item, right? But it has identified this as a structured data, and it has copied this data uh, to uh, the data table variable. So here you can see that in the preview, you, you are able to see these two items. Okay. Then what else? Okay, so that is about a preview option and here you can see one toggle button is there okay so what is the purpose of that extract url and or image source of the extracted data if they are present they are addressing new data column so let me click on this okay so here it is asking you like okay, let me do one thing let me click on this okay so for this particular price i just copied the text only right so it is uh, uh, telling you like you can extract the url also so if you enable this it will create as a new column and it will help to uh, get the link or the url of this particular price okay so that is one new feature that i have added or if you don't want to proceed with this you can just delete it okay so this, uh, you can just delete that particular column and uh, if you want to extract for multiple pages what you can do earlier this feature was not there so you need to enable uh, this particular I, uh, the, okay, you need to toggle this to yes. Then where we need to indicate the next button. So um, let me scroll down. Let me delete it. Scroll to the bottom. Okay, so here is the next button, right? So enable this. Okay. Then you need to indicate on this next button okay so that's it so it has uh, selected this as a next button and uh, what is there in the select property okay so if you want to edit filters that you can do from uh, this uh, panel okay and here you can uh, choose like what are the uh, selectors that you want to choose and all click on this Okay, let me click on save. Okay, so here you can see uh, it has gone through, uh, it, it will open up this Amazon, then it will search for that particular uh, item. Then what it will do? Uh, it will extract all these uh, data, right? And uh, here there are multiple options like whether you need to set any limit or maximum pages that you can set. Or a uh, number of items that you want to um, fetch from this uh, extract data to black activity. All these things that we can fit over here. And uh, this is the target element, uh, these things was already there. Okay, and the visible check. These are the different filter options that you can uh, choose. And this is for the target element. And this is for the uh, next button. Okay. So I think we have gone through all these new um, features that I've added. Okay, so if I miss something, uh, do one thing, just comment in the comment box and I will let you know um, how you can proceed with that. So let me do one thing, let me try to execute.
Okay, so we can see it is extracted. Uh, it already extracted the first page, and it is clicking on the next button, and it is extracting the uh, new items from each page. Okay, so that is a uh, importance of uh, data uh, extraction. We don't need to provide any external next button, and uh, we don't need to loop, loop through each page. And okay, through that uh, uh, table extraction feature itself, we can give the navigation button, and it will automatically navigate to different pages, and it it will extract the similar structure data. Okay, and if you uh, okay, so all this data will be there in the extracted data table as a uh, data table variable. Okay, so you can use the data table variable for different action. Okay, like if you need to add this particular uh, name to uh, some other application that you can do, whatever things that you uh, you are doing with the data table variable, you can do with this data. Okay, so I hope you got a clear understanding about uh, table extraction. Um, why I'm skipping most of the uh, thing is like I already created a detailed video about table extraction and with this video I am just trying to introduce you with the latest enhancement that has happened to the table extraction feature okay and I will be providing the link of uh, the uh, uh, old video that I did for uh, table extraction you can go through that for getting the uh, detailed explanation about table extraction feature okay so hope you find this video useful uh, if you um, uh, find it useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel okay so thanks for watching the video bye